A long time ago, in a place not too far from here, there lived a girl who was so beautiful that everyone called her beauty. She lived with her sisters and brothers and her beloved father, who was a successful merchant. Beauty's family lived a life of luxury. Until one day, when their house suddenly caught fire, and the family was forced to work night and day just to make ends meet. The merchant decided this was no way for his family to live, so he went out in search of riches. The merchant rode deep into the forest, where it suddenly became very stormy. He tried to seek shelter at a castle he saw in the distance. When he rode up to the castle, he saw a beautiful rose bush and decided to pick a rose for his sweet daughter, Beauty. Suddenly, a beastly man appeared and yelled at the merchant for stealing one of his roses. He told the merchant that in order to pay for this bad deed, he must have one of his children live in the beast's castle. The merchant eventually made it back home and explained the situation to his children. Beauty felt so bad that she was the reason this happened that she agreed to live with the beast, and so she went to the castle. When she stepped inside, she looked around and was amazed by how beautiful the castle was. She had never seen anything like it before. After exploring the castle, she decided to go to bed. As soon as she rested her head on the pillow, she began to cry. She missed her father and her family. She cried so much that she finally fell asleep. That night, she dreamed of a loving prince. He was the most handsome man she had ever seen. The prince told Beauty that he needed her help and that she must save him. Beauty woke up and looked for the man from her dreams everywhere in the castle, but she was unable to find him anywhere. Eventually, she made it into the dining hall where dinner was served and the beast was waiting for her. During dinner, Beauty and the beast had a very pleasant conversation. Beauty and the beast continued eating dinner together each night, and the more they talked, the more she began to like the beast until one night when Beauty went to sleep and dreamed about the prince again. This time, the prince was crying, and he told Beauty that he was running out of time. When Beauty woke up, she was so worried about the prince that she went to search for him once again. And as before, she was unable to find him. After searching all day, she decided it must have just been another bad dream so she went back to the dining hall to have dinner with the beast. But when Beauty arrived, the beast was not there. Beauty finally found the beast in his garden, but something was terribly wrong. Beauty ran to the beast and wrapped her arms around him. In that moment, she realized she loved the beast, despite the way he looked. She ran her hands through his fur and cried. As she held him in her arms, she gently kissed him on the cheek. Suddenly, the beast's eyes opened. Beauty was so happy. That night, the beast asked Beauty if she would marry him, and she said yes. Suddenly, a giant banner unrolled and congratulated the couple. Beauty turned around to look at the banner, and by the time she turned back to face the beast, he was nowhere to be seen. Instead, the prince from her dreams was standing before her. She realized that the prince had been the beast all along. The prince explained that an evil witch cast a spell on him, but Beauty's love saved him. The two hugged and soon they were married. Beauty's family joined them in the castle, and they all lived happily ever after. The End